Hey there, you can probably tell I am not home. This is nothing like Colorado. Here I can, I don't have to drink water because I'm just swallowing water all the time. My hair is so thick and humid and it's luscious and green, unlike the essentially desert that I call home. But this is Fio's Dam or something like that. Um, <laughs> Fun fact, Harrison Ford, I guess, jumped off this dam in the 70s in a movie. I don't know if he actually jumped off of it, but he was shown to in the movie. Don't know which movie it is. Obviously, I'm not as much of a Harrison Ford as some people, but this is the infamous area that encompasses Tale of the Dragon. So, what is Tale of the Dragon? Well, I clearly brought the right car for this. I'm out here actually with Miatas at the Gap, which is a huge event, one of the biggest in the country, for sure the longest running in the country. I have my entire separate video on that coming, so check it out on the channel, like and subscribe so you don't miss it. But this is roughly where it starts. It actually starts kind of like a mile that way, but this is just all beautiful. The Tale of the Dragon is a very famous road. I mean, literally known around the world. It's 11 miles long, 318 curves, and you can't even go that fast, which is why it's perfect for Miatas. So I'm gonna show you guys the tail of the dragon. Every single curve, every single moment, not speed ramping any of the footage or cutting out spots. We're just gonna do a raw tail of the dragon run so you can see exactly what it's like to run it. We're gonna talk about it on the entire adventure. And you can see there's lots of Miatas and stuff all over the place. One there, one right there, and uh, yeah. There are actually apparently 1,500 Miatas or so in this area right now. So without further ado, let's rig up the car and go on a lovely drive in one of the most fun roads imaginable. To rig up the car, I'm gonna make an entire other video on exactly how I do this, but I've got a couple different GoPro mounting locations. I really need to get more GoPros just so I can have like four running at once. But I have this new thing from flying me out. I don't even know if they sell it yet, but I think they're thinking about it. But a microphone mounts right there to capture exhaust noise. And because I now have a header, it's a bit more lovely sounding. And then the other microphone goes in the car, capture me and Christian. And uh, that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple, honestly. But this way we get at least some car audio, a couple GoPro angles should be perfect. All right, so Tale of the Dragon. Actually, our second run today, because the first run, we forgot to start a camera. I forgot to start a camera. It wasn't your fault. But uh, <laughs> we are going off. Bunch of Miatas right there. And uh, yeah, so we just caught up with a bunch of Miata owners. And uh, shout out to Dennis and Roman. Dennis, sorry about your ticket. Um, so let's start with that, right? <laughs> Speed limit is 30. <laughs> Three, zero. Three, zero. <laughs> Not 50 like our uh, um, cows. Yeah, cows. yeah, so, so allegedly. Um, but yeah, this is a stunning road. Once again, 11 miles, 318 corners. It's like it was built for a Miata, which honestly was built way before Miatas. And actually the speed limit became 30 right as the Miata came into existence. Coincidence? <laughs> I think not. I think not. Uh, actually, so the speed limit was originally 55, then lowered to 50, then 40, then 35. Finally, by the early 2000s, the Tail of the Dragon lowered it to 30 across the board. I say across the board because it actually is across the border. It spans two <laughs> states. Um, North Carolina and Tennessee together hoist the Tail of the Dragon above the, uh, yeah, it's great. We're at uh, right about a thousand feet starting out and it's about, yeah, like I said, 11 miles. So we are out here, Miatas of the Gap. I, I'm losing track. I mean, there's just so many Miatas. It's awesome to see everyone, everyone's saying hi. Everyone's so friendly. That's, this is why I got into Miatas, honestly. Did I, I don't know if I told you, I was, you know, when I was initially looking eight years ago, for Miatas, I was, I just wanted a small convertible. I was looking at Z4, Z3, even the Mercedes uh, SLK, like, <laughs> oh, nice Volvo. That is hot. That denim blue metallic. Um, but man, Miatas just have the best culture. I mean, we've got like 16 year olds with their first shit box. And then we've got 
plenty of people living their best retired life and it's just a great combo but yeah welcome to the dragon this is legendary road people come from all over the country and i guess north america we've seen what a group of 15 came from canada canadians, yeah. canadians. Down. he's from canada so he's, he's been translating for me yes. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah so dennis informed us that there are cops on this road and we, we did see them as they were going the other direction so i guess they had just got got him but this road has basically well not basically there are no crossroads no connecting roads no driveways which is great once you're on the dragon you're on the dragon you don't have to worry about traffic entering and exiting you're just along for the ride it's like a roller coaster you can't get off in the middle <laughs> throw your hands up yeah. you, can do. you can do that i'll yeah, yeah. i'll stay maybe, maybe you don't throw your hands up. i'll keep them on the wheel <laughs> keep my hands on the wheel Right. This is not really, I mean, there's, there are beautiful views, but this is not a road for sightseeing. This is a road for driving. Let your passenger do the sightseeing. If you want to sightsee, let them drive. Right. I'm going to make him drive at some point so I can see what's around us. But um, keep your hands on the wheel and keep it between the mustard and the mayo, as my friend Kyle affectionately calls it. Between the lines is the double yellow the entire way. You know, a lot of country roads have segments of dotted yellow signifying passing zones no passing zero passing on this road not allowed people try it people get in wrecks all the time just don't do it um, the alternative to passing or i guess the actual safest way to pass is people to use the pull-offs and there are pull-offs all along this road and that is proper dragon etiquette really it's just proper twisty road etiquette um, lots of colorado roads have these Roll offs. Wow. Well, I guess there's probably no cop right here. He might have been doing over 50. He was maybe <laughs> maybe 60. I don't really know. But let's stop at this pull off really quick. I do want to see this place. This is cool. Hey, it's Dusty. I've seen you all year. <laughs> <laughs> Dusty, you want to And. It's a good spot to stop. Perfect. Sick Bill, I'm fine. I get to see the car. Yeah. In real life. Uh. I'm an in person. Uh. Hey, you're on YouTube too. <laughs> <laughs> Gets a little bogged down, I can see. So what did you say? One of the rules was don't speed through this because people are walking yeah. across and don't trying to dive park. Don't bomb the overlook. Slow the F down. Die, yeah, don't dive bomb it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love this car. This this makes me miss my NC1 a little bit. Well, they're cheap enough. Get another one. They're cheap. Yeah. <laughs> you can never have too many Miatas. Hear yeah, that, Christian? You can never have too you many Miatas. Right on top of your yeah. <laughs> I'm looking for a non-clapped NA for this guy. So. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Non-clapped though, that's a little that's hard. hard. A <laughs> this is gorgeous. So as long as it's safe to cross woo, for my life. But uh right over here you can actually see barely that's the dam way down where we started. And this is just beautiful scenery everywhere. CX-5 ripping. Austin, you should be out here with your CX-5. But, oh, and the van pulled over nicely. Yeah, it's fun to see everyone swing through here. Pop, 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 pop. All right, firing it back up. Traffic, man. Literally, it only takes one person. You know what I mean? Yeah. That person caused all of that. Yeah, yeah. And the other guy's just slowing down. Yep. He just went around. There we like, go. <laughs> which is, and he couldn't see. There was a bike right here. He almost hit. Yeah. Look at that. Few blind corners. Man, this, these views are great that you're looking at, that I'm not looking at. <laughs> yeah, they're beautiful. Dude, you watch them. Just describe it to me. <laughs> Tree, green trees and huge drop-offs. That, <laughs> that checks out. 
Well, we're back on the Dragon after the quick look at the pull-off, so that's one piece of advice. And, uh, oh, there's one about the photographers. So one piece of advice we heard is don't mob the the pull-off or something. I don't remember exactly how he worded it, but that pull-off is a famous place where people stop and look and stuff. And it, it is actually a scenic lookout. It is scenic, yeah. and but like slow down. Some people just mob over it, and it's kind of freaky because people are trying to cross the road and park. And yeah, it was just just the five minutes we were there, we saw a bunch of uh, <laughs> very close calls. Close calls, yeah. But man, what just a gorgeous place. I see why people come out here all the time. There's a pull off. So yeah, we just saw a photographer. That's one of many. I think there's probably four or five any given day parked on the side of the road, taking photos of everyone. And it's super fun. And you can go look at those photos, either probably at the, I think the- Website. The store, yeah, the website, and then the store at the end of the dragon. Yeah. It's 40. Dude, dude, I can't even get up to 50. Like, sketches all get out. This guy is right behind me with his brights on. I, I don't know if bikes are. They kind of do their own flop thing. Yeah. A bike would be a bit scary on this hill, I think. That's the road etiquette right there. Just pull over, let them pass. And honestly, if there's cops up ahead, they'll catch the bikes <laughs> instead of me. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Theory, yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna bank on that. And then the, the car will get stopped. It's a little slower. There they are stopping again. You kind of wish gunning it would like throw your head back in the seat, but I don't have that power. <laughs> Not yet. No turbo yet. No turbo, but maybe. Even here, I wouldn't really, I'd turbo. be in boost a little bit, but it's like. With the turbo comes a great responsibility. This is not a road that you can use much of a fast car. We saw an Audi R8 earlier and it's, it could barely be the top of first, I bet. Yeah, a whole lot of accidents on this road are motorcycles. It's it's the two that were in front of us. Oh yeah, that's frightening. We have one, two, nine photos. It's a good place to practice like track driving when you're not at 10 tenths. <laughs> this is not a road to be on 10 tenths with. And honestly, if I had more time, I would just drive this road 30 times just to practice like heel toe and stuff. There goes Exo set. So many Miatas. Everywhere. The photographers are like, hey, did you catch the white Miata? The what? Which one? <laughs> well, at that last, the last, the first pull off before we started, someone was saying something about uh, asking us if we had seen some white Miata from Florida. And I was like, well, <laughs> that narrows it down. <laughs> Clearly. 
This one's beautiful. I love that color. Yeah, again, there's gonna be a whole other video on this entire like weekend as a whole, but I thought it'd be fun to do the dragon by itself as its own video. But man, if you wanna have, if you wanna get ideas on what to maybe do with the Miata, come to Miata's at the Gap or Miata Reunion, like huge gathering and everything you can think of and things you've never thought of have been done to a Miata and it's probably here. Stuck between a Tacoma and a box van. I'm not sure a Jeep would be the most compelling thing on this road. No, not, the definitely not quick. Big imprecise tires. Yeah. Boxy, choppy. Yep. Volvo. Yeah. Another Volvo. I like that. I'm just a big fan of Volvos lately. Like at what point do you stop waving at Miatas? <laughs> Another thing to keep in mind though is this road, I mean, it's, it's legendary, which means a lot of traffic comes on it. Um, about half a million a year is the actual amount. And uh, it's, it's a great road, obviously, but like a lot of roads in the area are also amazing and have probably less than a fourth of that traffic. So if you're just looking for a good driving road, like yeah, anywhere out here. Anywhere out here. S2000 snuck in. It's fun, like all the corners are also banked. Oh yeah, some of them. Get pretty low. There's the sidekick. This 
guy is kind of like the F1 brake light. So I'm guessing a lot of the cops are motorcycle cops. Just they're just so nimble and they can turn around really quickly. But those guys brake lights are working. I don't think so. Maybe he's not even braking. I don't know. All gas, no brake. But honestly, it's like anytime I see a clapped out NA reversing, I'm shocked if I see reversing lights that are like plugged in. <laughs> Getting close to the start or the finish. Is it really a head and a tail, or is it just like it's, just, uh, it's, how it's a it. road? Yeah. These bikes with big saddlebags, I'm surprised they're not scraping. Right. I feel like dropping a drop bike down this thing would be way more effort because you have to lean. Yeah. There we go. Now he's like, I can't keep up. Holding up traffic. Make sure that wasn't a cop. Yeah. <laughs> I think they're in black and blue. Yeah. And we're in North Carolina. So this is the gap we're just passing right now, which I guess is the pass essentially in the mountain. Uh, we're almost there. So that's basically Tale of the Dragon. Beautiful. Beautiful, epic road. Done it three times now. Still have nothing memorized. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's not like a racetrack where you're like, oh yeah, I remember back on turn three, like, <laughs> it's just. Turn, yeah. It's hard because uh, it all looks the same. Yeah. Like very, very similar. 
It would be fun though to make make up a, something about a turn. Just walk up to someone and be like, yeah, remember like on turn 217? Like, oh, that was wild, right? No, turn 318. <laughs> Well, we made it to, I guess, the Dragon's Resort, Dragon Inn. Dragon's Den. Dragon's Den, yeah, that makes sense. This is where they shot Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of bikes. Check out this little area. Turn up. Yeah, oh, it's you're tight. Good. You're good, we're, we're, we're real small. <laughs> Thank you. Nice. Tail of the dragon. Looks like the Tesla T. A little bit. Yeah, it actually does. <laughs> Don't tell Elon. Don't tell Elon. <laughs> actually, if it frees up, it might park in front of the dragon over there, the statue. Oh, yeah. We made it. What were your thoughts? Dude, it was, that was incredible. That was a really, really cool experience. Good drive. Yeah, very, and this is kind of the, the final spot right here. I mean, can't get much better than that. A little <laughs> hilarious statue. So the dragon's like tail is like grabbing the bike. And at some point, someone actually had a bike shoved into the cliffside on one of the turns up until I think like the 1990s or they so. Just left it there. Yeah, they put it there and they put boots sticking out of the cliff so that it looked like someone had just like gone into the cliff. But at some point, someone took it down. But yeah, that's incredible. Yeah, but um, yeah, so thanks so much for watching. Another quick video on the Tale of the Dragon. I mean, it's not super quick. It's, it's, it's only 11 miles, but like that adds up to a decent amount of time when you're actually driving. So let us know if you want to see any other roads, but um, just stay tuned for other Miatas of the Gap content. There's so many cars out here. A million Miatas, a couple S2000s, Honda Beats, other things sneaking in there, Mustangs, Audi R8s. Uh, BMW. Why is it hood open? There's no engine in the back. <laughs> Getting his stuff. Getting his, that's his trunk, yeah. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Let me know uh, what you think of the Tale of the Dragon. Let me know if you've driven it, what you think of it, and uh, otherwise, hope to see you out here next year. Cheers.